This episode was brought to you by the Secret Society of Adored Women. Have you been tirelessly going on craptastic dates, having craptastic results with men, even spending a craptastic amount of time weeding through meh guys and fretting over the one who won't call you back or commit? Join us for our hush hush group of like minded, successful, badass single women from around the world turning the dating scene on its head and creating scandalously magical romantic experiences that you will cherish forevermore. But beware, your love life and life will never be the same again. Meet us over at thesecretsocietyofadoredwomen.com. You are listening to Single Smart Female. This is Jen. And Jen. Letting it all hang out for your love life. Examining your dating experiences and answering your hot topic dating questions. Just you and us, Jen Squared. No topic is off limits and no filters involved. We are here to help you do dating on your terms. If you have a question you would like us to answer or would like to immediately upgrade your love life with our collection of classes and exclusive merchandise, meet us over now at singlesmartfemale.com. Why, hey there, single smart female. It is Jen, your romantic fairy godmama, coming to you today with a single smart female listener question. This listener question comes all the way from Long Island, New York. Miss Hopelessly Committed. Miss Hopelessly Committed writes, Hi Jen, I've been listening to the podcast over the last year and it has helped me in ways I can't even begin to describe. I started seeing this guy and we really hit it off. I'm a super extrovert and he is an introvert. This is my first time talking to an introverted man, but I can see how it's balancing me out. I was vocal about my expectations and then I stepped back. To my surprise, he stepped up and committed to making plans with me at least twice a week. It's been two months now and we agreed on exclusivity without a label. I'm a hopeless romantic and ready for a relationship with him. He did mention that he has commitment issues, which is confusing to me because his actions don't reflect that. Can you please touch upon how to date a man with commitment issues? SOS, I really like him and I want to see where things go. Love, Miss Hopelessly Committed. Okay, my love, Miss Hopelessly Committed. I've actually got some really bad news for you here. Ladies, this isn't just for you, Miss Hopelessly Committed. I'm not going to be able to teach you how to date a guy with commitment issues. That is some fucked up shit that you're doing to yourself. It is a great way to self-torment. Okay, so I'm going to just put that out there before I go into anything. Ladies, and this isn't just for you, Miss Hopelessly Committed, for everyone. Being exclusive without a label, so to speak, is just another way to call yourself fuck buddies without having to be truly committed, okay? This whole idea that labels somehow are harmful or why do we need to put a label on it kind of thing, it leaves a lot of confusion in our head. And so what I recommend for all women, don't go into exclusivity with a man who's not willing to put a label on it. Just keep mantraage dating. You can be a hopeless romantic and mantraage date and stand for what you want. He doesn't get permission to have exclusivity with you just because he says so. It is your decision. And ladies, quit trying to figure out how to date these specific men. You know, you're really fucking yourselves over and over again. And basically what you're saying to the world, to the universe, to God is I'm not worth having what I truly want. So I'm going to try to fit myself in this box, his box, and contort myself because obviously this is the best I can get. And you're settling. And women do it over and over again. Smart, successful women do it over and over again, but then scream from the mountaintops how, you know, they're so independent, they're this, they're that, and then they do the contortion act. Why, ladies? Think about it. Why? What are you really saying? What, that his penis is so good that there's nothing like that that exists in the rest of the world? Out of the billions of people that exist? You're lying to yourself. 
And when you lie to yourself like that repeatedly, you keep your romantic life small. If you truly want a magical romantic life, you have to be willing to build the courage that it takes to build a mantraage, to enjoy your experiences, and to stop putting yourself into his box. You deserve more, way more. So no, I cannot touch upon how to date a man with commitment issues. When you have a vibrant mantraage, it doesn't matter if he has commitment issues. It really doesn't matter. He can stay in your mantourage and then you pay attention to the men that are treating you the way that you want to be treated until you reach an exclusive relationship with someone. Not an exclusive sexual relationship with somebody. That's completely different. And again, it's a way that we women hurt ourselves over and over again. It is not the same, okay? Sexual exclusivity, not the same as relationship exclusivity. And you're basically, when you're not willing to put any kind of label on it that we are in an exclusive relationship, you're doing the same thing. It's a way to always have one foot out the door, okay? And if that's not what you want, don't settle for that. You, my love, deserve so much more. So the first thing I want you to do is write down on a piece of paper somewhere, I am worth having the relationship that I want. Okay. I am worth having the relationship that I want. And I want you to keep that with you somewhere. And I want you to read it frequently. Say it out loud frequently. The next thing you need to go to mantouragedating.com. So I can give you a free three-day class on how to start your mantourage dating experiences properly. Okay. So that you can open yourself up to having everything you want romantically. And then after that, once you start to learn to mantourage date, then you can include him into your mantourage. And then he gets to be who he needs to be and not feel like he's in a cage. And you don't have to neglect yourself in the process. Okay. So let's wrap it all up. If he has commitment issues, okay. So be it. But the best thing you can do in order to combat quote unquote commitment issues is actually have a thriving mantourage and let him figure out his own stuff. That way you don't have to waste your beautiful, precious, romantic energy on trying to figure out how to get what you want. And instead, you can allow it to flow into your life. Okay, lover girl, it's time for the final thought on today's show. His commitment issues are single smart female code for you need more talent in your mantourage. This episode was brought to you by the Secret Society of Adored Women. Have you been tirelessly going on craptastic dates, having craptastic results with men, even spending a craptastic amount of time weeding through meh guys and fretting over the one who won't call you back or commit? Join us for our hush hush group of like minded, successful, badass single women from around the world turning the dating scene on its head and creating scandalously magical romantic experiences that you will cherish forevermore. But beware, your love life and life will never be the same again. Meet us over at the Secret Society of Adored Women.com. Hey, lover girl, this is Jen again. Don't forget to subscribe to the show in your favorite podcast app, as well as share Single Smart Female with all of your single smart girlfriends. And if you would like to play around and learn more about mantourage dating, come see me at singlesmartfemale.com. Talk to you next time.